Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a new page. Hit pages, add new, place the name and hit create. On this page, we're just gonna use text, no image. Well, only for the background. Okay, so we wait for the editor to load and remember, we have to duplicate apps in order for the content not to change in other pages. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the apps one by one. The reason why I'm removing the apps and not the whole section is because this is gonna be useful. We already need a section that is three columns. So I'm just gonna remove this really fast. Hit on the X. Now, this is not actually deleting them from your page. It's just removing them from that specific page. You can always go back to the apps and reinstall them. I'm duplicating the titles. I'm removing the original ones for them not to change. And I'm changing the title. Quote. Okay. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and change the background. You can do this at the beginning and if you don't later, you can always change it. I'm going to use yellow for this one. And I'm also going to go ahead and use a background image. All these items and all these elements, you can find them on the blog post. Okay, so this is how our background will look like. Pretty simple, yellow and black. Now we're going to go ahead and install text steps around. Okay. We're going to need about nine of them so far. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and replace it with a quote. You can find all quotes on our blog post. Remember, nothing is final, so you can always change and restart later. Use the spacing settings. 25 for left, right spacing, top spacing, and bottom spacing. Now we're going to duplicate this nine times and replace each one of them with a proper quote. I may not show you this process since it's something that is not quite long, but it's quite repetitive. You can do it later yourself which is quite simple, just go ahead and install the app three times and then create a section for each one of the lines. We're going to use three sections, each one with three columns. Each one is 320 pixels on width. Okay, we do that again. Okay, it's replaced. Duplicate it, I drag and drop it, duplicate it again. As I was mentioning you, it's just quite a repetitive process. I'm gonna go ahead and add another section. Since I need, as I told you before, three sections. Each one has to have three columns. I split that up section again into two columns and resize it. It has to be 320 pixels of width. Okay, and do it again. So now we have a grid, which is one of the basic elements that Paul Run used to use. Okay. Now I'm not going to show you how I replace each one of the quotes with the proper one since that's quite a long process. But as you can see we have a fair look of how our page will look like at the end. This is just a preview. As you can see over here I already replaced all of the quotes with the proper ones, just for fast speeding purposes. 
Now what we're going to go ahead and do will be to style the sections. So I'm going to click on the dot for each section and I'm going to add bar there. I modify the thickness, remove the right and left one. I'm going to do that with the upper and the lower section. Okay, I just remove these ones. Now, so far, all the text has the same size. I'm going to go ahead and modify it so you see that it looks much better if you categorize all of it. Okay, almost done. I'm using 18 pixels for this and I'm placing in bold the first line just for aesthetic purposes. Okay, this is done. Now I'm just removing and adding some lines. I'm using 13 pixels for this one. And as you can see, we didn't use any image in this one, just for the background. We're using text, which is quite simple. And we're using the text tab for everything. Title, menu, header, and each one of the codes. Now we're going to go ahead and change the color of the menu. Just go ahead and select all of it, click on the color picker, use the slider if you want to. We're almost there. I'm going to use something darker. That will work. Yeah, it looks much better now. Now we're going to change the font as we have done before. Click on style, go to the tab that says text. You can also change the color for something not that black. I'm using a really dark gray. I'm going to change the color again so you can see it also changes the one that we have previously modified. Okay, now you see how it looks much better now. We're going to go ahead and continue with another page now.